Apple's website has been a great source of design and interaction inspiration for many UI UX designers because of its amazing landing pages with smooth animations. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to recreate the Apple Studio Display landing page, including this smooth animation in Figma. So let's dive in. If you go to apple.com and open up the Mac menu here, you can open up the Displays menu. And from here, if you select Studio Display, this landing page loads. So if I scroll down, you will see that this animation plays. It's very smooth. And finally, we will get to this point. And if I continue scrolling down, look what happens. The Studio Display appears smoothly. And finally, these two text layers fade in. So let's analyze it first. We need to make sure that we have this image. So I already downloaded this image. And also this Studio Display image should take up the whole available width and height of our screen, just like what we see here. And right in the middle, we need to have this text layer. And once the transition happens, this text layer should fade out and this Studio Display should be scaled down. And finally, these two text layers should fade in. So let me show you how you can do it quickly in Figma. So here I already prepared this Apple Studio display image and also I prepared these two text layers. For this animation, I'm going to hit A and I'm going to create a custom size frame and here I'm going to set the width and height to 1920 by 1080 respectively, just like that. And then I'm going to drag and drop this image inside this frame. All right, just like this. You need to make sure that it's scaled up like that because we just want to see the wallpaper at the moment. And then we need to bring this text right here. So let me drag and drop it. I'm going to make it white like that. And I'm going to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically. So that's step one. Next, I'm going to select this frame one. I'm going to duplicate it, hit Control D or Command D, bring it down just like this. And in this step, we need to scale these two layers down. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select them both. Now I'm going to hit K to select the scale tool, hold down the shift key and alt key to scale them down proportionately, just like that. All right, I'm going to scale it down. And also I'm going to move them up. Next, I'm going to select this text layer and I'm going to set its opacity to 0% because it needs to disappear. And next, I'm going to duplicate this frame once again, bring it down. And this time, I'm going to move this frame up just like this. And here we need to place these two text layers. So I'm going to bring them right here. All right, it looks good. But in order to animate these text layers, just like what we see here, okay, we need to make sure that these two text layers are also placed on this second frame. So I'm gonna hit Control C or Command C, select frame two, hit Control V or Command V, but these two text layers should be masked somehow. So I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and a space bar on my keyboard and bring them down, just like that. Now they are still inside frame two, but we cannot see it. All right, we are almost done. We just need to add the interactions. So I'm going to select this frame one. I'm going to head over to the prototype tab right here. And now I can simply connect these two screens just like that. I'm going to set the trigger to key. And here I'm going to hit the right arrow key on my keyboard. And the animation is going to be smart animate is out. And let's set it to 1000 milliseconds. It's going to be enough, I think. And let's do the same thing for this screen. So I'm going to connect them and it's going to be key smart animate and 1000 milliseconds. Let's give it a try and see how it looks. All right, good. I'm going to hit the right arrow key on my keyboard. Nice. As you can see, we had this smooth animation once again. Okay, so here we have an issue. These text layers appear, but they need to fade in. So we need to make one adjustment here. If you just head over to frame two and we select these two text layers right here, then we can decrease their opacity to 0% and now it should work just fine. So let's give it a try once again. Good. There we go. Now we have this beautiful smooth transition. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. Have a lovely day and see you next time.